I just broke the $13 needle. I just broke the needle. No! Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. In this little video series, I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully. I simply like creating things and sewing so much, and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it. All the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description. And now, let's get started. In this video we're going to have a look at how to use a twin or double needle. This is something I was always a bit scared of because I didn't really know how this worked. So I'm really glad to share with you now and I hope you don't have to be as scared as I ever was of <laughs> using a twin needle. So twin needles come in different sizes and they come for universal, denim or stretch fabrics as well. And they can range from 1.6 millimeters to 8 millimeters. I think it might be different too. So from really narrow ones to really wide ones, depending on what kind of fabric you're working with or what kind of hem you want to make or what kind of decorative stitching you want to use, I guess. So it should say in the project that you need, uh, which needle you need. I'm starting with my stretch needle here because I want to use it on the jersey fabric first. I think it looks really nice when you're making a double seam on stretch fabrics. So I just unscrew the needle that I have in here now and then I'm making sure that my needle position is in the center so that my needle is in the center and then I can <laughs> screw it tight so it holds it in place. There we go. And now I have to check, I'm just turning my hand wheel to see if the needle fits through my presser foot hole here. Otherwise I would have to use a different presser foot. But this looks okay. And we only need one bobbin. So this was always my question, do you need two bobbins? No, you just need one bobbin and the bobbin thread will sew like a zigzag between both the upper threads to make the seam. Now I'm just putting my additional spool pin here on top of my bobbin winder and then I can put my thread spool on top of it and I'm going to thread both threads in the same way and then I just put them into the different needle eyes at the bottom and I'm using contrasting threads so it's easier to see so my white thread is already threaded and now I just go along here between the tension plates and the take up lever and behind the thread guide here and now I'm putting my white thread into the left needle and the black thread into the right needle. I don't think it really matters which one goes where. And the black thread into the right needle. There we go. Now I'm taking my jersey fabric and I'm just folding it over and I can pin it or just hold it in place with my clips. And I wouldn't even have to hem or finish the raw edge because stretch fabrics don't fray as much as woven fabrics do. Now I can just so a straight seam with my needle position in the center and I'm very interested to see how it turns out. There we go, there we have the black thread and the white one 
and this is what it looks like on the back it's kind of a zigzag thingy now we can just also use a decorative stitch so you can sew straight seams or also decorative seams by I'm just um, choosing number 24 now it's one of the decorative stitches and now look at that it's sewing a decorative seam and it'll have it'll sew it w w uh, with two needles at the same time so it looks really lovely so now I'm switching over to number 23 And I think this is when the disaster happens. Oh no! You can hear my live reaction now. I just broke the $13 needle. I just broke the needle! No! I thought I'd leave that in here. I always like showing you my mishaps and my accidents because, you know, that's life, right? So one of the needles just broke, but the first <laughs> decorative stitch worked really well. And this is what it looks like on the back. And now I'm going to switch over to my woven fabric needle, to my universal needle, because I don't have another stretch needle. I just ordered a new one on eBay, though, so I can use other use it for other projects so now I'm switching over my sewing foot as well it has a little bit of a wider hole there in the middle where the needles can dance around a little bit better and my universal needle is a, a bit more narrow my stretch needle was four millimeters I think the millimeters mean the distance between the needles and this one is 2.5 I believe and I'm just starting off with a simple straight seam again. But first I have to thread the needles, of course. So yeah, the needle broke because my sewing foot wasn't wide enough. The hole in there wasn't wide enough for the needle to bounce around. And that's something that I should have checked before switching to the decorative stitch and I didn't so accidents happen lesson learned and I ordered a new needle so I'm making the stitch width a little bit smaller this time so that I don't have any accidents and apparently I didn't sew a straight <laughs> seam first so I'm doing the decorative stitching straight away Starting off with the same stitch, number 26, I think. Number 24 it was. Now I'm switching to 23 and then we can check what that looks like. And because it's so much fun, let's try another stitch as well. And see what that looks like. So I'm glad to see that this time we have enough room here for the needles to sew and I did not break this twin needle. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So this is what the stitches look like, number 24, 23 and I forgot one of the other decorative stitches on my sewing machine. I think that would be so much fun to adorn one of your projects with stitches like that. In the next video we're having a look at how to sew a buttonhole on your sewing machine and the video after that will be about sewing on a button on your sewing machine. And I hope I see you, I'm going to see you for these videos again as well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests 
And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.